people stranded, locked in a car, and in danger of being swept away. Last night's flooding on Oahu's windward side submerged six cars, leaving motorists calling for help. KITV 4's Brenton Owa has the story of a good Samaritan who risked his own life in the rescue. So that entire area has, has issues. It should be just another day at the office for State Representative Richard Foley, but it's hard to shake the memories from last night. This is actually the first time I've ever been in this situ uh, life-threatening situation. On his drive from Haula to town, <laughs> Fale stopped at the flooded Waikane Bridge. He says three cars were stranded and the water quickly rising. This motorist was one of them. It felt like, the, like we were in the ocean and it was like literally just pushing us. I knew that... Um, with, without police and fire there and the water rising as quickly as it, as it did, that there was a good uh, possibility that someone might get hurt if something wasn't done. Fale says he reacted on instincts and helped get most of the stranded motors to safety, including a woman who had climbed onto the hood of her car. They were in the most dire situation, so I helped her, took her um, across the, the, the stream uh, back to my vehicle. But when he returned to rescue the driver, the car was already starting to float. I was really concerned that if it swung off the road and into the stream that it was going to sink right to the bottom and Uncle Glenn wouldn't be able to get out. Foley tells us that he was eventually able to push the car out of harm's way and keep everyone safe, but he does not yet know how the state plans to do the same for future flooding at the Waikane Bridge. This is going to be a very unique challenge, I believe, for engineers because the way the stream runs parallel to the road for a significant amount of distance and the rules and guidelines that we have in regards to new outfalls with ocean and things like that, I, I think this is going to be a pretty big challenge uh, for uh, engineers and for the state to solve. The Department of Transportation's Highways Division issued a statement this evening saying it does have plans for future replacement of the existing Waikane Stream Bridge. Construction is expected to start in 2016, pending funding availability. You can read the DOT's full statement on our website.